Hello, my name is Benedict Osu. Welcome to the sports segment here on Pause. Always a pleasure joining you on this platform. Well, after the Anaz Arimeyao Anaz's expose, which revealed corruption in football in the country, government took steps to dissolve the Ghana Football Association. Along the line, FIFA came through uh, threatening to ban Ghana because of government interference. And then government, uh, you know, had that opportunity to sit with FIFA to look at a possible way forward. We all concluded that uh, there was going to be a normalization committee. So four members uh, were inaugurated uh, to, you know, look at how they can reform Ghana football or restore Ghana football to normalcy. Dr. Kopi Amwa, the chairman of the normalization committee, Madam Lucy Quest, the vice, and then Na Odofole Norte, as well as lawyer Diodonte and the other members. They've been in office for three years now. And we are asking, uh, for three months, sorry, we are asking that uh, what is happening uh, with the normalization committee in terms of uh, their work so far. Well, yesterday at the media press, uh, the president of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Adedankwa Akufado, had this to say about the work of the normalization committee. What I'm hoping for out of what has happened is that through this normalization committee, the, the government and FIFA worked out together to establish a new beginning in Ghanaian football administration is going to be started because the process is there for them to make a new constitution and to begin at the beginning and put in a structure that hopefully will prevent the kind of things that we have seen in the past. That is my hope. And I think it should be the hope of all of us that this game that we all adore, there's nobody in this country who loves football more than me. And I'll say that as a matter of record. There's nobody in Ghana who loves football more than me. <laughs> Anyone who knows me tells me I'm a fanatic. <laughs> so, but what the, the picture that was brought to us was not a picture that was encouraging. Something had to be done about it. And it had to be done under the responsibility of government for the maintenance of law and order in our country. And I think that that, that, that that remains constant. As I say, I'm hoping the people who have been put on this normalization committee, certainly from what I know of all of them, these are very upright, straightforward, uh, intelligent, capable Ghanaians. I think that they're going to lead the process of a more sane football administration, making rules that will be more transparent in the way things are done. Uh, and, and trying to balance this, this, the various interests that there are in football, the interests of we, the spectators and audience, the interests of those who put money in football, the, the interests of the administrators, the interests of the players, the clubs, all it's a, a whole bundle of things. We have to be able to find a way of linking them together. I'm hoping that this has happened elsewhere. We've seen, we're watching on television, other leagues operating. Every now and then, even they give rise to scandals. When they, those scandals occur, they're dealt with. FIFA itself. <laughs> FIFA itself. Only a few years ago, we had the issues of Blatter, the others who ran F FIFA, um, and, and, and were, were, were ch chastised and sanctioned by courts of law. So the, 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 the basic premise on which FIFA runs world football. I don't quarrel with it. But at the same time, I think that this residual authority in the state to make sure that everybody in it complies with its rules, its regulations, its culture of due process, must continue to be upheld. All right, so that was the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Dedan Kwakufade, speaking on the work of the Normalization Committee. And as I noted earlier, well, they were given a six-month period by FIFA to go through uh, the day-to-day -day, uh, administration of the Football Association, also to review the statutes and then organize a fresh elections. Well, as things stand, the Normalization Committee must finish their work in March, that's God willing, next year. Now, they've been in office for three months, and we are trying to look at what they've done so far. Are they on the right track? Well, for many, they feel that the Normalization Committee, everything that they are doing, are in tandem with the terms of reference given to them by FIFA. While others also believe that uh, they are trespassing and doing more than what they've been asked to do. 
Now, they, just some few days or uh, weeks ago, there was an announcement of a, a new competition, a competition that will involve the 16 premier teams as well as the 48 division one clubs. Well, some clubs uh, have uh, agreed to it, others also are yet to agree. But all the same, that will happen and football will return in terms of active football will return uh, here in the country that's uh, later next month in January. But we'll definitely we'll go through and do some more analysis. We're hoping to speak to sports analyst Eko Asma on what he thinks of the work of the normalization committee after three months in office. Well, we are unable to reach him uh, at this moment, but uh, in our subsequent bulletins, we'll definitely uh, we'll get that and also speak a lot more about the normalization committee. I'm Benedict Osu. That's how we end sports this afternoon here on Pause. Join us on Prime. There'll be more sports. My colleague Nathan Alato will be here. And then tomorrow on the AM show, I'll be on uh, with more sports news. Until then, bye-bye.